Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to make some Moana seashell art. I'm doing napkin decoupage with Mod Podge, paper napkins, seashells, and look at how cute this turns out. Now I'm also doing a quick painting tutorial in this video. I'm using two different shades of brown, two different blues, and some white. Now our first step is that we're going to separate the plies of the napkin. I'm only using the top printed ply, and these napkins came from Party City. Then I'm just trimming it to fit onto my seashell and I'm going to use Mod Podge gloss and then I've got a little spray water. That's gonna help with the napkin going over all of those ridges in the seashell. So I'm just gonna apply the Mod Podge directly to the seashell. Then I'm spritzing my napkin and placing it right onto the seashell. I'm using my paintbrush and my fingers to really push it down and get that attached to the shell. Now I am working very gently since this is sped up, it's a little hard to tell, but I'm tapping really lightly. Now, since it's still wet, I can go ahead and just peel away that napkin from the edge. Don't worry if you get a little tear here or there, you can just go in and repair it with more Mod Podge. And that top section there, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of napkin just to fill in. It's very easy to piece these designs together. Just add a little bit more Mod Podge right onto the spot where you wanna piece it and add a little bit more napkin there. It's very easy to do. Now I'm top coating with a little bit more Mod Podge and then I'll trim away that top or tear it away once it's dry. Okay, now for the base. I wanna give this Dollar Tree plaque. I picked this up at the dollar store and I'm just removing that hanger really quickly and I'm gonna go ahead and dirty paint the bottom with some khaki paint. And what I mean by dirty paint is I'm just pouring some paint on there and I'm just getting some color down and I don't mind about the texture because I'm actually gonna be adding a lot of texture. So I'm just adding this color to be my sand and I'm making sure I'm hitting those edges too. Once I have enough of this down, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my blues for my ocean. I'm using a darker blue, a lighter blue, and then I have some white to fill in to create those little caps of our waves. Again, this is kind of a dirty paint. I'm just trying to get these colors down. And then we're gonna go in and detail paint. But as you can see, I'm doing my darkest color at the top and I'm working my way down to my light color. And I'm just blending that white as I go just adding white to the different blues just to create kind of an ombre effect with different colors. So you can see that this is really just the background. Now I'm gonna go in with one of these brushes. This is like a detail brush. I love it, it's flat and fuzzy and you can really create all that fun texture. So the first thing I like to do on my beach scenes is go ahead and add in my first white line. That's the water crashing onto the beach. And then let's add some more rolling waves in the background. So basically you're going to just do white and you're gonna use that brush up and down, stippling up and down, almost like a stencil brush, and then do some darker shades behind it. Now this painting I'm not doing super detailed because I know I'm gonna glue that seashell right in the center. So I just want the idea of the ocean behind it. So I'm just layering and layering my colors. You can mix and blend your paint colors together, but I'm always going back and adding that white. I'm always going back and adding that hint of white just to be the waves crashing down. I'm working with the paint wet on wet, and that will really help you to be able to blend all of your colors together. I think that's the key to these beach scenes is you really want a blended look. I smear with my fingers sometimes just to add some more darkness. And then you're just continually going in and adding that light shade. Remember, wherever you have the light, you're gonna want some dark behind it. Otherwise, you won't end up with any definition. All right, let's add some definition to that sand. I'm using my sand color again, but you can see I'm adding the texture just by tapping that brush down. And now I'm adding a little bit more of the darker brown just to give it sort of some highs and lows. Very simple. Pick up a little bit more white 
add some more white so that you've got that sort of sand and the ocean, you know, crashing together. All right, let's add a little bit more dark blue. This is my same dark blue as before, but I just wanna add some deeper colors. So I keep blending that. Now I'm gonna let this dry for a couple of hours before I move on. And after it's dry and I'm happy with it, we're gonna go ahead and add that rope hanger right back onto it. It's a little bit tricky to get it pushed through. You could always use a new rope. Go ahead and tie that off. You've got your hanger. And then I'm just attaching my gorgeous seashell. Look at her, she's all dry. I love this Moana seashell. I'm gonna glue that to the center using hot glue. Very simple, just a pool of hot glue there. And I did kind of eyeball it just to make sure it was in the center. And then we'll just place that seashell right into the center. This is such a fun and beautiful project for any fans of Moana, but of course you could use any napkin for this look. Thanks so much for joining me today. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and hit that bell.